Over there. Hey, are you okay? You. Uh. Shulk, what's wrong? Another vision? Kind of. I'm not sure. But first, she needs help. You're right. Let's look for somewhere safe. There. I see a clearing under a giant tree. We can easily watch for anything approaching. Okay. I'll carry her. She hasn't sustained any serious injuries, but her condition is far from stable. Do you know what's wrong with her? Her symptoms suggest ether deficiency. It's well known that Homs are strongly affected by ether levels in the environment. But I've never seen symptoms like this before. Hmm. A sudden drop in ether content in the surrounding atmosphere causes a reaction. Symptoms range from fatigue to nausea. But in this girl's case... What can we do? We're gonna need water-type ether crystals. I'll load the crystals into a cartridge to shoot from my rifle. Eh? You, you're gonna shoot her? No, silly. I'll fire them into the air and the dispersed ether will heal her. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. But the problem is the crystals. We can't just use any old crystal. They must be as pure as possible. This area must have a water source nearby. We should search there first. I spotted a waterfall a little way back. What do you think, Charlotte? Would a waterfall produce pure crystals? I can't think of a better place. Then it's decided. I'll search for the crystals. Hey, you're not going on your own. I'll be okay. I need you to look after the group. We're short on water too, so I'll fill up our flasks. Hey, good idea. Take care, man. Who are you? Hello there. Uh, uh, hello. How unusual. It is quite rare to see a Homs in this region. I... <laughs> I suppose you're wondering why I am here in that case. Then permit me to introduce myself. My name is Alvis. Alvis? Um, my name's... It's Shulk. Isn't it? Uh, how did you know that? Wielder of the Monado, defender of Colony 9, the hero that has every mech on running. You're famous amongst all Homs. I know you from somewhere. They're here. Huh? The Monado emits a particular ether wavelength in its ground state. It must have drawn them. Huh? Oh! What are they? Albert! Get out of the way! I'll deal with this myself. From the left? Then I'll go! Huh? Oh.
Huh. It can't be. <coughs> I saw its movement before it struck. How can it... <coughs> it is a telethia. Telethia? They can read your mind. Whether you have a vision or not, if they know your next move, it's all in vain. You... you know about my visions? How could you possibly... There is only one way. Stop it in its tracks, then dull its perception. No, Albert, stop! You don't know how to... Huh? A new symbol? That was amazing. I suggest you stop staring. The sword is yours to wield. What was that light? The Monado does not control itself. You control it. I... control it. By the light of the Monado. I will stop them. You see now, Shulk? Hmm. Thank you. Hey! Wait a second. More importantly, where on Bionis did you learn to use the Monado? 
They were not the primary Telethia, merely its spawn. The primary Telethia dwells elsewhere in Magna Forest. Is it wounded? I see. The Telethia is hurt and lies in rest, wounded by a girl. A girl? The Manado is a divine sword capable of disturbing the very fabric of existence, of both the material and the immaterial. Alvis, how do you know so much about the Manado? Who are you? Shulk! Shulk! Huh? That's Ryan. I'm over here! Shulk! We looked all over for you. Thought you'd been eaten by the forest. Sorry, Ryan. I got attacked by Telethia. If it hadn't been for Alvis, I wouldn't have survived. Alvis? Who's that? I'll introduce you. He's the one that... Alvis? But he was... Uh, there's no one here. I'm telling you, he was right here. He even taught me how to unlock a new power from the Monado. Just you and me, Shulk. Ain't no one else around. You probably passed out from dehydration and dreamt this guy up. Come on. Wait till the others hear this. <laughs> he was here, Ryan. I didn't dream it. I'm not lying. Okay, okay. I believe you. And while you were having fun with your imaginary friend, did you find any ether crystals? Yes. Good quality ones, too. Perfect. Come on. We should hurry them back to Sharla. Hang around here long enough and we'll get whacked by an imaginary beast. <laughs> I'm not lying. Alvis, who are you? An enemy that renders your visions useless. This forest holds many surprises. Not least creatures we've never seen before. And now we know there is another who can use the Monado. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to meet him. So you weren't just having a sneaky nap then? No! I'm just saying. You and Dunban are the only ones I know that can wield the Monado. How would this guy know how? Okay, locked and loaded. Everyone, stand back. Wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, she's coming round. All thanks to our medic. Are you okay? Where am I? Everything's fine. You're gonna be... <gasps> Get your hands off me! Ah! Hey, watch it! F forgive me. I... I did not mean to... Uh, sorry if we surprised you. Are you the ones who helped me? Well, something like that. Excuse me. My name is Melia. Forgive my indiscretion. I have not had the pleasure of coming into contact with the male Homs. Coming into contact? Hey, Shulk. You're creeping this lady out. Mm. Shut up, Ryan. This large one is far worse. Me! <laughs> <laughs> Melia, is it? How did you get here then? What, is there no one with you? 
I must apologize, but my situation does not concern you. And I shall not be divulging anything to common passers-by. Duly noted, your ladyship. But if I were to be so bold, I'm guessing that you didn't come here alone. And you weren't just taking an afternoon nap. <laughs> and what, may I ask, are you doing here? It is rare to see Homs venture this deep into Machna Forest. We're traveling to the head of the Bionis. We've got a long journey ahead of us. The head of the Bionis? We were just figuring out how to get there when we found you. I see. Then permit me to return the favor by aiding you in your quest. Really? There is only one path to the head of the Bionis. It is the path that leads to Erith Sea. So, this Erith Sea is at the head of the Bionis? If you would be kind enough to escort me out of the forest, I will show you the way. You... you do that? Thank you, Melia. I'm Shulk. Pleased to meet you. Shulk? Ah, yes. Likewise. <sighs> she's a bit high and mighty. But she's a Homs too, right? Why is she here alone? Ain't got a clue. Ask her yourself. I'm not good with her posh accent. We shall travel to the Nopon village. Nopon village? That's where we've been heading. We reckon it's our best chance of making it to the top. Since inhabiting the region, the Nopon have been a great help. You can travel to Erith Sea from their village. It's settled. We'll make our way to the Nopon village. Very well. The Nopon inhabit a giant tree. If we follow this trail, we will be safe. <laughs>